Hello, hello. Oh, welcome to your Jingle and Mingle Holly Jolly Lip Tips. I'm so excited to give you some wonderful tips to give your lips that lasting all day long wear. We're going to learn a trick I like to call staining. I'm going to teach you how to do that. I'm going to talk about um, red lipstick and wearing red lipstick for the holidays. And then we're going to talk about how to take care of your lips. I'm so excited. Let's jump in. Okay. So first I want to talk about how do you take care of your lips? I have two products, technically three products that you have to have um, in order to really take good care for, of your lips. Okay. So first we've got our satin lip set. It is a two step process. There is a lip scrub. There is a lip balm. Okay. That lip scrub is you're going to like squirt a little bit on your finger and you're going to rub it on your lips in a circular manner. All right. That is our satin lip shea sugar scrub. It's a, like a, a sugar um, scrub and you're going to rub it in. It is going to exfoliate those lips. Your lips are actually the only thing on your face that doesn't naturally exfoliate. So everything else kind of naturally exfoliates. You do want to add some exfoliation products to help that process too, but your lips actually really do need some help. So this scrub is going to help you. You're going to use this once every couple of days in the winter. You're going to want to use it more because your lips really get gritty and gross in the winter. That is our lip scrub. After you're done using that lip scrub, you're going to come up, come on it with um, the lip balm. Okay. So you're going to like use that lip balm after the lip scrub. You can use this lip balm more than a couple of times um, a week. So this one, you're going to want to use once every couple of days. This one you actually can use daily. I like to keep it on my counter and use it after I brush my teeth. So I'm just like always keeping those um, lips nice and soft and smooth. And this is our Shea Butter Balm. Oh guys, this feels amazing. It really is so soft, so luxurious on your lips. You're gonna love, love, love this. In fact, you're gonna love this so much. You're gonna need a hundred of these. <laughs> you're gonna need one in your bathroom to stay there at all times. You're gonna need one in your car. You're gonna need one down by the kitchen sink. You're gonna need one in your purse. You're gonna need one in your kid's backpack, just in case. In fact, this is really awesome to use with your kiddos too, to keep their lips nice and soft and smooth especially in the winter when they get like kept gritty and gross, this is the answer to your problem. So this is my first tip for taking good care of your lips. Make sure you're using our satin lips on a regular basis and you're absolutely going to love it. It feels amazing. Your lips will feel super, super smooth. Next, I have the age fighting lip primer. Okay. This is a clear, like it's white, but it goes on clear. It's just, you can see, it just goes on clear. You can't even see it. But what this does is it helps your lipstick stay on longer as well as your lip gloss. So it's going to help your lipstick and your lip gloss stay on longer. It also has anti-aging stuff in it. So this is going to help fine lines and wrinkles around your lip, lips. Um, and so you definitely want to be using this on a regular basis to fight those fine lines and wrinkles. This is our time-wise age-fighting lip primers. This is the next product. So this is like the, the nitty gritty for taking good care of your lips. Okay. You want to be doing this on a regular basis to take good care of your lips. Now I'm going to transition into talk about staining. I love this technique. Okay. So staining, um, is basically like a trick that is going to tense your lips underneath the lipstick to prolong the wear. And it gives you that long lasting staying power, 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 powder, power. Yes. Power. <laughs> and so I'm going to show you this trick with one of our, um, red lipsticks. This is rockstar red. This is a hydrating supreme hydrating lipstick. It is going to end. It's instantly hydrating. It has intense color payoff and it has a brilliant shine finish. You guys, this like when I say supreme hydrating, as soon as you put on your lips, it's like a drink of water for your lips. It just feels so smooth and so hydrating on your lips. And so I'm going to show you how to do the lip staining with this lip color. Okay. So it is a beautiful, beautiful red. I'm going to show you. It's a beautiful, beautiful red color. Okay. So I, so with the staining, just bear with me. You're going to put this on and take, wipe it off about three or four times. Okay. When you put it on, you can kind of get it crazy. It's okay. Like just get the color on your lips. 
okay? And then I'm, we're gonna wipe it off. And what this does is this stain, stains the lips. But before we do that, we actually are gonna use our translucent loose powder, okay? This is the translucent um, loose powder. You can use this powder all over your face. It's really, really awesome powder. But what we're going to do here is also use this cream color brush. And we're going to get a little bit of that translucent powder, get it covered on the brush. And then you're going to tap the brush to get rid of that excess color. And you're going to pat that on, um, on top of the, that lip color. So you're just going to Pat that on. What I do, I love this because it also can give your shiny lip gloss a matte finish, which is really pretty. So I'm going to wipe that off. Okay. Just the tissue. And then we're going to apply it again. Okay. Get the color on get the translucent loose powder and you're gonna apply that. Okay, and then we're gonna wipe that off. I'm gonna do it with you about three times. Um, really, if you want more color, you can keep doing it. Um, up to like five or six times or however long, however many you think you need. And like I said, this is going to stain your lips. So that color, when you put that top color on, it is going to stay all, all day. And you won't have to be applying a whole, whole bunch. So it is important when you wipe it off, you're coming down on the top lip and up on the bottom lip so you don't end up with like color everywhere, okay? So my lips have a little bit of the tint. So now they're kind of ready for lip liner. Guys, our lip liner is so, so awesome. I love, love, love our lip liners, okay? We have several um, different lip liners and you can get a lip liner to match your, your lipstick but only about 30-ish, 35% of, of the population can get away with wearing a lip liner the same color as their lipstick. So what Mary Kay has done is they've come out with these lip liners that um, you can get three different shades that match more of your skin tone. And so if you have like ivory skin tone, okay? So our ivory skin tone, you're gonna use our light nude. If you have like medium skin tone, you're gonna use our medium nude. And if you have a darker skin tone, you're going to use our deep nude. Okay. And so after you do the lip staining, like what, with what I just did, you are going to line your lips. So I'm going to show you, um, I'm going to line my lips. Um, and if you have like some lip like issues and you kind of want to, you know, if they're, they look, got some things going, you can line just the outside corner of like the Pac-Man and that can like, kind of like, the way it looks will take away from some of those like lip um, things that you might have going on. So I'm going to line my lips. And then I'm going to come over um, and I'm actually going to use one of our other red lipsticks. Okay, um, I've got two more that I wanna talk about. So I just talked about the Supreme Hydrating Lipstick. Guys, seriously, like a drink of water for your face. But the next two, these are both similar formula, but different. Um, the formula for these are, um, they are the gel matte lipsticks, okay? And I'm gonna put on Poppy Please because it's one of my favorites. And really quickly, I didn't mention this. But what's really cool about those lip liners is you actually um, can wear any lipstick with those lip liners. And so the lip liners actually, if you have a lipstick that you're like, I cannot wear this color, 
you try to put one of those lips, lip liners that match your skin tone, I think you're going to, you're going to, that lipstick, you put it on, you'll have a completely different result. It's really awesome that, that, that you can do that with that. So this is Poppy Please. It is one of my favorites for sure. It's one of my favorite holiday ones because it's a super, it's just a beautiful, beautiful red, but I love these gel lipsticks. Okay. So the gel lipsticks, couple things that they do, the formula is very similar, but there's two different finishes. There is a matte finish and then there is a semi sh um, shine finish. Um, and so the, the gel lipsticks, they're going to deliver long lasting wear without drawing your lips. In fact, I don't really feel like I need to do the lip staining when I wear these. I feel like as soon I put on one and it like lasts all day long, it's going to last me. Seriously, I may have to apply like one other time during the day after I like have a big meal or something like that partway through the day. But most of the time it just lasts all day. Even when I eat or drink, I still feel like it's, it does a good job of staying on my lips. But it is highly pigmented. These shades provide intense stay true color. Like the color you put on at the beginning is the same color that at the end of the day, it's really beautiful. The formula is cushiony for your lips. It's velvety, soft, like super like velvety comfort for your lips. And it has optical enhancers, which deliver a soft focus effect. So that soft focus effect is basically, um, reduces the appearance of wrinkles, which is awesome benefit as well as preventing feathering and bleeding. These ones are absolutely amazing. They don't feather or bleed. However, if you feel like all lipsticks feather or bleed, one trick I wanna teach you, and I can't do it because I've got red lipstick on this guy, but what you're gonna do is get your translucent loose powder. Again, you're gonna co like cover this brush in it, and then you're gonna trace on the outside of your lips here, to create like a fence around your lips with this um, with this powder. And that basically will keep that product from like bleeding or, or feathering or, or getting out into your lips. And so this um, translucent loose powder is really the answer to that. If you feel like when you wear lipsticks, they bleed, you gotta get some of that. And I can't do, I can't show you the trick because this has actually has red lipstick on it if I could start doing that. I'll end up with red lipstick. I'll look like a clown. So let's not go there. Um, yeah. So this, uh, I love, love, love this gel lipstick. It is absolutely amazing. Comes in tons of shades. Um, this, the one I just put on is the poppy please. And you can see it is just a beautiful, beautiful color. It's a beautiful, bright red, um, almost like an orangey, orangey, orangey red. It's kind of like, I really, it's really pretty. And the last one I have to show you is scarlet red. Okay. It's a deep, like a bricker brick red. And it's really, really pretty as well. Um, I absolutely love it. And then we also have a red lip gloss. Now our lip glosses are not sticky. So when you put them on, they just are go on really, really smooth and really beautiful. And so um, you can pop a lip gloss over top. It is just a really pretty bright red. Can you give you a really pretty shine? And so you, it gives you a really, really pretty, um, pretty, pretty shine. Um, so that is our red lip gloss. Um, I love the tubes. They're really, really beautiful. So those are the products I have to show you guys today. Um, finding your red lipstick, okay? Because not everybody looks really good in every single red lipstick that we have out there. And so finding your red lipstick, it's kind of like finding a pair of tennis shoes. You know, like once you find the ones, you like always go back and get those same ones because they just fit so good. They're just like perfect for your feet. Um, finding your red lipstick, it's kind of like that, you know? you buy those shoes, you're going to wear them around a little bit and you're going to see if they're, they're a good fit for you. And so my recommendation, we have a guarantee on our products. And so you can literally go back. If you get buy a lipstick and you don't love it, let your consultant know, and you can go back and exchange that lipstick stick for a different color till you find the perfect shade for you. Um, 
So that red lipstick, seriously, like try some different red lipsticks. You can get together with your consultant and maybe try some before you buy some. Um, that could be another way. She could send you some samples in the mail of some different red lipsticks that you could try. And so, um, but it, it's a matter of like, try it, wear it around the house, wear, wear it for a few hours and kind of see, like, look in the mirror, take some selfies with it on, and you can find out if like, that's your perfect color, if that's your red color. So that's what like, finding red lipstick, I recommend, like buy it, try it. And if you don't love it, exchange it for one um, until until you find the one that, that you absolutely love. And so I just want to remind you when you watch four of these videos and fill out that Google Doc, you're going to get a $25 gift card from your consultant. And so if you watch this one, awesome. You've got three more videos to watch unless this is like your fourth one. And so um, also our next video is going to end this group at 7 p.m. with Erica for join us again for Alexa, take off my makeup. Guys, thanks for joining me. I hope you learned some fun tricks and I really enjoyed hanging out with you today. I hope you had an amazing Thanksgiving. Christmas is coming. <laughs> um, Merry Christmas. And I um, 